nestled between Tony Gwynn Drive and Trevor Hoffman Way, this is Petco Park. We've got baseball on the show. It's the San Francisco Giants and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Coming up on the first pitch, today's starting pitcher, you Darvish. Very solid starters, able to repeat his mechanics on a consistent basis, which allows him to move through a lineup and get deep into a ball game. And here is Tyler Fitzgerald. Tyler Fitzgerald. The wind of the pitch. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. The first batter of the game leaves the yard. The Giants score first. It's one zip. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. So much for settling into this game, Boog. No courtesy first pitch take right there. He was ready from the second he stepped into the box, got a pitch to hit, jumped all over it. I tell you what, that'll fire up the guys in your dugout. So here's Wade now. High fly ball, right field. Tatis has a beat on it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Here's the Giants lineup. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big time challenge when he's right and working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevated because guys that throw those sinkers, those two seamers, Really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer. But when you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. That one ripped. That's back there. Going gone. He'll touch them all. And they add on. It's 2-0. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. The slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. Base is empty one away. Michael Conforto will climb in. This one smoked on its way out of here. A gigantic blast. And they had a run. It's 3-0. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there. No doubt about it. Back-to-back -back homers. Always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Now it's Matt Chapman. And foul ball. Darvish, multi-time all-star. He features a sinker, a slur, a slider, a four-seamer, and he occasionally uses a curve. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Could be extra bases. And nice work to hold him to a single. Got it back in fast. That exists. Here the comes right Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. Mike Yastrzemski. 
That one ripped right center field. And that is gone. He'll circle the bases, make that four homers in the inning. It's five zip. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. The pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but big league hitters don't miss that pitch. Out of the bullpen for the Padres, Adrian Morahome. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Digging in, Patrick Bailey. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Merrill pulls it down, and there's two down. Batting eight. The second baseman. Now Marco, Marco Luciano. Luciano. In the air, right field. Nice grab on the run. And that'll do it. But it's a huge inning. Five runs on four homers. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Giants five and the Padres nothing. Back here at Petco Park. Today's starting pitcher, Logan Webb. Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, it's Ready right on top of him. Ready to go for the last half the of the inning. Hitter. And now the DH, Luis, Luis Arias. Oh, oh yeah. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Ah. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Five run lead after their first at bat. That is huge at this point, but you've got to keep the attitude to keep your foot on the gas. Don't let that team back in this ball game. Cruise to the finish That's line, out. but do it with intention. And a quick out number one. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, saying they got their work cut out for them down a busload already in this one. And a manager does not want to see his hitters going to the plate swinging like it's a home run derby. He wants hitters to put together quality at bats, play the game that you've been playing and that you've been taught to play with this organization and go out there and move the line. If you do that, you're going to score some runs. Maybe you don't win this ball game, but at least you have some momentum to carry into the next one. But why the kick the pitch? Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A massive home run, and they're on the scoreboard. It's 5-1. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. put a really nice swing on that one and everything was on time took a direct path to the ball excellent extension and just drove it out of here nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that now batting jerks in pro far and the first offering is not close Rocketed out towards right center. McCray makes the catch, and there's two away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself Maddie. it's about the process. He did everything oh, no. right, right there. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Manny Machado now at the plate as he swings oh, through strike one. Hit to right, and that should do it. And that'll do it. These hitters had the long ball working for them today. Four home runs had a lot to do with them coming out on top. 5-1 is how it ends.
For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.